Months into the pandemic, there is still no consensus on a basic point. Should everybody wear at least some face cover to keep the bug at bay? Don't forget, early on in the pandemic, it was thought that some of the resources were a little bit more scarce. And so we didn't really know what the future really held. And so we wanted to make sure that we had N95 respirators and masks for the healthcare workers who needed to actively stay healthy to take care of these patients as they were coming into the hospital system. The primary people who need masks are the healthcare providers who are putting themselves in harm's way when they're taking care of someone with a highly contagious disease. The other is the people who are infected and you want to have them in the hospital and not spreading it there. One thing you don't want to do is by recommending that people in the community generally wear masks is if it takes it away from the people who really need it. Obviously, this has since changed. The community came together. People started making masks. We started to develop more with some of the leading manufacturers throughout the country to help really create enough PPE for not only the healthcare workers, but for the public as well. We could do a really good job of controlling it if we paid attention to five fundamental principles, one of which is what we're doing here right. with masks, crowds, distance, bars, washing hands. This is a science. Data changes day to day. Influenza we've been studying for absolutely decades at this point. COVID-19 has really just stepped on our doorstep for the past year, year and a half at this point. And so we're learning a lot of information about the particles of this virus very quickly. The original thoughts of this virus surrounding masks, ventilators, medications have evolved greatly. And this is actually normal in the scientific process.